G'day, it's Marshall from MM4x4. I'm up here in Mackay today with the guys at Diesel Power Unlimited, and they've kindly given me access to their 70 series 2.8 litre auto to put our lock-up kit into. So this video, I'm just gonna go through the process of uh, installing the kit into this vehicle. Now the first step is to choose where in the car you want to install your control unit. What I found is a good spot is tucking it up here and under the above the transmission tunnel. And basically what you do is you start by putting your control unit there and then you start routing the wires through the firewall to the other side and keep this here because that makes it nice and easy to access in the future. But firstly, we've got an ODB2 cable. So there's only three. The ODB2 cable, the cable that is used for the um, LED switch, which is on the A pillar. And then this goes uh, routes through to a load resistor and also into the engine bay to the ECU harness. So coming around the other side, so you can see that the two cables coming out there and there's also the ADP2 connector here. So the kit has a Y splitter cable that comes with it. And that cable has uh, one end goes to the lockup kit and the other end is available for, you know, if you've got a you know, scan gauge, ultra gauge or some sort of ADP2 reader. Uh, you just have to drill one hole with the self-drilling screws to mount the load resistor. That's a good spot because it's easy to get a drill into and you only need one screw to hold it in place, but having it on a bit of metal is a good idea. And then the other cables route up through here one cable will go onto the up here th to the A pillar to the LED switch and then the other cable goes up through the firewall grommet which is up here which is again easily accessible in this car now the LED switch here it mounts just to the trim um, you basically just pull it back and you route the cable the grey cable you can see it there it just goes down the centre and you can then either bring that cable out somewhere around here or take it right down to here as I have and it just slips over simple as nothing to remove no other trim and that's the LED switch now it's also adjustable so you can move it around to suit your driving position and you, you don't have to have that installed if you don't want to um, it's there to give you lock-up status and to be able to turn the kit on and off uh, but if you just want to coil it up and just put it somewhere underneath and then just use it to turn the kit on and off when you want. You don't have to have it there if you want to have a nice clean look on your dash. It's more just for driver information and it's placed in a position so that as you're driving, it's just there in your peripheral vision. Okay, so you just a quick uh, minor glance over with the eye and you can see that the, the, uh, the kit's locked up or the uh, transmission's locked up. All right, going to the engine bay. So down here is where the firewall grommet is and that grey cable comes out. Now I've put it into um, a split tube. Um, that's purely for cosmetic purposes. The cable's perfectly fine in the temperatures in the engine bay. It basically comes across to the ECM here. Now basically you access this connector. Now these ones just come off. You just they just unclip like this, for example. Right? And you take this little bracket off here and then you take this connector out and then it's a matter of getting in behind the harness here to where the wires are and you just cut two wires and then solder our ends on, onto the ends of those two cut wires and that's basically the installation so this is the cable coming out of the connector here and going around to back um, to the control unit which is in the transmission tunnel um, what i'll do is uh when i just when i was in the workshop um, it's too noisy to do a video and have be able to hear so i'll cut over some footage of what happened in there and then do a voiceover and um, go through a little bit about um, that process of getting this connector apart. You move to where the ECM connector is and you need to remove the three connectors which you first remove the clip and then you push down on the grey lever and pull it towards you for the first two connectors. And for the third connector, you actually lift it, lift it upwards. So that's the connector which holds the wires that we need to get to. So you first need to cut the cable tie. And then you need to slide the housing forwards like I'm showing there. Now to do that, you use a small screwdriver and you just on each side, you just unclip it while you're pulling it towards you and it should then slide. And then you need to actually get it past the grey lever and you need to pull the grey lever apart slightly 
and then you should be able to get the housing to slide all the way forward. And there's a little tab there that's got to get past the connector and then you've got access to the wires. Once everything's complete, you run the diagnostics. You, know, you turn the ignition on, but don't start the car. Then you put your foot on the brake and move the shift lever to the end position. And then you push and hold the LED button for four seconds. And release. And you'll see the TACO goes to one, which means it's running test one, then test two. And what you want to see is that the speedo stays on 42 kilometers an hour, right up to test number six. And there you have it, it's passed the diagnostics. Now, if any one of those tests fails, the speedo will go to zero and it will abort the remainder of the test uh, program because essentially it's unsure if the wiring's correct, if it's getting bad results, so it then aborts. All right, well, that was a really quick overview of the installation of our lockup kit into the 70 series vehicle. Uh, many thanks to the guys at Diesel Power Limited for giving me access to it so I can uh, to, to test and uh, develop the kit. And uh, thanks for watching.